Liebe Leute, willkommen zurück zu Vampire. Und wir sind gerade in den Docks unterwegs, befragen die Leute. Wir suchen nämlich den Sean Hampton. Um, und behandeln nebenbei noch Leute. Jetzt sehe ich gerade, hier liegt ein Toter. Not a drop of blood left in his body. This is the work of a vampire. Uh oh. Good evening, sir. Have you witnessed any suspicious activity or strange events recently? And what do you define as a strange event? More to the point, who are you? My name is Ichabod Throgmorton, vampire hunter extraordinaire and warden of the East End. A vampire hunter? <laughs> really? I know what you're thinking. I'm just another lunatic howling at the moon, but I'm not. The bloodsuckers exist. And they're close. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'd like to hear more about these vampires you're hunting. A man of science? Well, I'll be glad to enlighten you. Das ist aber sehr freundlich. What can you tell me about this neighborhood? Did you hear about what happened to Jack Gillingham? Oh boy. It's a shame I wasn't around to protect him. It's impossible to protect everyone. The violence seems endemic in this part of town. But it's my duty. I am convinced Jack Gillingham was killed by a vampire. These evil rodents are spreading like a plague. Hmm. So, how exactly are you protecting these people? I'm curious. I patrol late at night. Investigating anything unusual. I try and encourage people to stay indoors, but people are careless. <laughs> Woran erkennen Sie einen Vampir? Das ist jetzt mal eine spannende Frage, wenn einer direkt vor ihm steht. How do you identify a vampire? It's simple, really. They can't stand daylight. They're afraid of garlic and holy symbols. They also cannot enter a house without being invited. Have you ever killed one of these creatures? Yourself, I mean. Of, of course I have. W what kind of question is that? It's a dirty business, believe me. Mm -hmm. Klang nicht so überzeugend. Can I help in any way? Actually, yes. I plan to put up posters to alert the population to the vampire threat. Are you asking me to paste posters about vampires around the docks? If you wouldn't mind. If you did that, then I can focus on my patrols. Have you heard of the guard of Prewan? Of course. They're dedicated hunters. A little militant for my taste, but they do let anyone join. <laughs> So you hunt alone? That sounds risky. Vampires are just like every other predator. They hunt when they're hungry and follow certain patterns. It's just a matter of observation and patience. Were you ever tempted to join the guard yourself? I did think about it, but I'm more of a silent hunter. They're more of a sanitary militia. Silent Hunter, so so, da gibt's ja auch diese U-Boot-Spiele. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me, Mr. Throgmorton? The sad saint? He should be at his night asylum at this hour. But I cannot tell you how to find it, sorry. Really? Why is that? It's nothing personal, Doctor. I'm sure your intentions are good, but people who sleep there, they have plenty of reasons to hide. Mhm, 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 mhm. I could make you tell me, but I respect your refusal. You really believe Sean is a saint, don't you? All I will say is this. Gossip has it that when he was a child, he was molested. By a priest of all people. Funny thing is, though, it only strengthened his faith. Uh -huh. Maybe at least you can tell me who could help me find him. Tell you what. Go and chat with Tom Watts. He's a bartender and good judge of character. If he talks to you, then it's fine by me. 
Den haben wir ja schon mal irgendwie genötigt, ne? Goodbye. And good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. Halt mal Zeit. Jo. Hallo, What would the epidemic no one dares go outside? Good evening, Tom. Good evening, sir. How are you tonight? Back to the docks, are we? You remember me then? Of course I do. You're that man who seemed so lost when he entered my bar a few nights ago. Thank you for your hospitality. I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Uh, I'm still Tom Watts. Welcome back, Doctor. Hm. Er war mit seinem hochgestellten Kragen hier. What can you tell me about this part of town? It's not that bad. Thanks to people like the sad saint of the East End. Who? Sean Hampton, our own private holy figure. Few are foolish enough to make peace with the gangs. Sean is one of them. Sean. How is it you can keep this place open? This part of town doesn't seem particularly safe. Well, since everybody needs a drink, my pub is considered neutral ground by most groups. Mm -hmm. You're something of a figurehead around here. I'm only pouring alcohol for everyone to forget their troubles. Sean Hampton is the one giving them long-term hope. I see. So you get pressure from all sides about how this place should be run, do you? Well, something like that. Nothing that a few wise words and a bottle of gin can't solve. Since I'm here, is there anything I can do? Well, perhaps, Doctor. Peace partly depends on my stock of gin. <laughs> Uh, with the epidemic, my supplies are running low. How could a physician help you in this matter? I have a small warehouse just past the quarantine line. Perhaps, with you being a doctor, you could go there and come back? Doctors aren't immune to disease, you know. Very well. Show me where it is. I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's the key to get in. You're about to save many dry throats. <laughs> ja, sehr wichtig, sehr wichtig. Sabrina seems very fond of you, Tom. I like her too. I really do. I know I'm her boss and I'm much older and all. But I like her for sure. What is bothering you then? Sabrina is an angry one. She wears it like a coat. I'm not sure I can make her shed that anger. It hurts to see her like that. Mm -hmm. Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton as quickly as possible. I've been told you could help me. I heard the sad saint was recovering at Pembroke Hospital. Did he leave or something? Yeah. Huh? I believe he returned to his flock. Can you confirm that? Oh, I bet you're right. Sean can't help but worry about the poor and sick. Oh, I guess it has something to do with what happened to him as a baby. Please, tell me. Well, I don't like to gossip, but I heard that the sad saint was abandoned as a baby in front of a Catholic orphanage in Dublin. That would explain his faith and need to help everyone. The important thing is I find him, quickly. Uh, why not try his night asylum? He takes care of those who need a meal or a roof there. Where is it? It's in an old warehouse, northwest of here. Just follow the bank to the west and go north when you reach the end of the pier. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Nach Westen und dann nach Norden. Ah, da drüben. <lacht> Kann ich denn da rüber springen? Ja, ich glaube, das ging, ne? Hier rüber zu springen. Ach so, bist du denn eigentlich krank? Welcome back, Doctor. Hallo. Can I do for you? Gesund. Perfetto. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Bleib gesund. Und bist du auch gesund? That's a first. Customers who make that much mess rarely come back. Don't mind in fancy togs. I'm much more myself than when we first met. By the way, I'm Jonathan, Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome back to the Turquoise Turtle then, Doctor. I'm Sabrina Cavendish. How can I help you? 
Auch gesund. Wunderbar. Miss Cavendish, would you be willing to help me locate Sean Hampton? You better ask Tom, sir. Why not answer me directly? We respect the privacy of our customers here, sir. Only Tom can decide who to speak to and what he'll say to them. Okay. Sabrina, tell me about your true feelings for your boss. I love Tom. Not ashamed of it. Don't care if the customers joke about it neither. Who's mocking you? I mean, we're always together. People will talk, won't they? Does Tom love you? Yeah, but he's always reluctant to take it further. It's not because I'm younger or because of the color of my skin. He hates jokes about us. Wo kommen sie her? Excuse my curiosity, but where exactly are you from, Miss Cavendish? Something bothering you? What, my name? Or my complexion? I'm sorry if I worried you. I was just curious to find out if you know this part of town well. Nosy. My dad was a sailor from Bombay, and my mum was a maid born up in Glasgow. They got married in London. And here I am. And here I am. Believe me, I never judge someone on their place of birth or the color of their skin. If that's true, you'd be one of the few not to make fun of me. Just you, Tom, Dyson, Miss Fishburne, and of course, Mr. Hampton. Goodbye, Miss Cavendish. Naja, gut. <clears throat> Wo kommst du denn ursprünglich hier? So, gibt es hier in der Umgebung noch was Gescheites zu sehen? Schau mal, das Plakat habe ich glaube ich noch nicht gesehen. Ihr werdet genug verdienen. Aha. Sterben für Geld. Ähm, doch, da unten waren wir schon. Ja, ja, ich erinnere mich. Aber wie komme ich jetzt gescheit darüber? Ja, gut, dann müssen wir mal da runter gehen und nachgucken, ob das klappt, ob man hier rüber springen kann. Liegt der noch in seinem Boot? Nein. Ja, man kann da rüber springen. Perfekt, perfekt. Und dann sind wir doch schon direkt an der Lagerhalle hier, oder nicht? Uh. Ich muss weg. Ausdauer, Ausdauer. Oh, was? Der hat mich mit zwei Schlägen platt gemacht. Bitte was? Oh, und ich hatte mal wieder keine Ausdauer mehr. Grr, der macht er mich mit zwei Schlägen kaputt, hm? Denn noch was zum Looten? Eine Feder. Und eine Blutprobe. Sehr gut. Ähm, das ist die falsche Richtung. Ist die falsche Richtung. Da oben war ich schon mal, glaube ich. 
nach Norden, hat er ja gesagt. Ich war. Geht's denn hier nach Norden? Ist doch mal Süden, wo ich hier gehe. Komische Wegbeschreibung, die passt irgendwie gar nicht mit zusammen. So, ähm, was ist der Kopf, den ich hier die ganze Zeit sehe? Ist die von der Quest mit Rao, glaube ich. Ja, so ein Fernkampf. Dieser Blutsperr wäre vielleicht gerade nochmal ganz gut. Ansonsten müsste ich mal. Oh ja. Ich mal die. Fernkampf auf mir aus. Sag mal, was ist denn hier los mit euch? Hallo, ja, 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 ja. Wenigstens das. Seine Kollegen fackelt er aber euch gar nicht ab, oder wie? Der durchs Feuer laufen, das ist denn egal. Aber die doch nicht beide zusammen auch noch, dass einer mich dann blockt und der mich dann abfackelt. Das muss doch nur nicht sein, aber. Ich möchte nicht sterben. Jimmy, der Funke. Ja, auch ordentlich. Äh, Lebenspunkte. Ach, ich wollte doch die. Ah, warum hat das jetzt wieder auf den gewechselt? Jetzt habe ich die Ulti auf den, den Typen da verschwendet, ey. Glaubst du das? Das war ja schlecht. Hm. Manchmal, eigentlich kann man das mit dem, mit dem Mausrad durchschalten, aber manchmal springt es halt hin und her. Das, das verstehe ich nicht so ganz. Äh, was war das jetzt für eine Übersicht? Muss ich nochmal gegen den pelzigen Freund jetzt kämpfen hier? Oh. Das ist ja ärgerlich. Was 
dir mal was an, Kollege. Boah. Na gut, also nochmal darüber. Miau. Warte mal, das war jetzt die falsche Richtung. Nee, ist richtig hier. Es ist richtig hier. So, jetzt habe ich natürlich aber gerade die Fähigkeit benutzt. Das heißt, die Ulti hat jetzt erstmal einen Cooldown. Ach, schaut mal, hier hätte man auch drüber gekonnt. Hm. Na gut. Dann werde ich den Kampf beim nächsten Mal nochmal probieren. Gegen den Funken. Jimmy der Funke. Bis dann. Alles gut. Alles gut, genau. Oh Mann, ich bin so durch heute. Es tut mir leid. Macht's gut.